Hello guys, in today's video we'll be talking about the different types of aircraft wings. Over the years, countless wings have been tried and tested. However, each wings have got its own pros and cons. The wings are airfoils that generate lift when moved rapidly through air. The wing configuration comes in different shapes and angles, and that depends on the amount of lift that need to be generated, the stability, the operating speed, and the balance. All these changes the aircraft wing shape. The wing tip can be pointed or square shaped, and the aircraft wing can be attached from the bottom of the fuselage to the top of the fuselage. Now taking for example, if a high wing aircraft wing is tilted up, we say it has got a dihedral angle. And what dihedral does is that, when the aircraft is gonna bang to its right, the wing goes to its right and it wants to level to the vertical lift part. But as the aircraft wing goes to its side, the air will move on top of the horizontal lift part, making the wing to level. Therefore, dihedral is for lateral stability, which means that during the rolling part, it needs stability. A high wing aircraft has better vertical roll stability due to the center of gravity situated on top of the wing than the low wing aircraft which is situated under the wing. I will talk more about dihedral in the coming video. The first type of aircraft wing is the rectangular wing. This wing is easy to manufacture, this wing is non-tapered and it is mainly used in smaller aircraft like the Piper aircraft which is shown in the video but the disadvantage is that this wing is not aerodynamically efficient. The next is the elliptical wing. This wing is the most aerodynamically efficient wing which induces the lowest drag but it is not made to minimize drag but to house landing gear along with ammunition and guns inside a wing and that is why the wing has to be thin. And this aircraft is called as Supermarine Spitfire. The next is a tapered wing. The tapered wing shown in the video is actually a modification of the rectangular wing where the core of the wing is varied along the span. This wing isn't efficient like the standard elliptical wing but it compromises for efficiency and manufacturability. The aircraft shown in the video is a P-51 Mustang. The next is a Delta wing aircraft. The wing is shaped in the form of a triangle. The Delta wing is mainly used for supersonic aircraft. The wing offers large area for shape thereby improving maneuverability. They are strong structurally and they provide large volume for fuel storage. But the disadvantage is that due to low aspect ratio, they induce more drag. And the aircraft shown in the video is a Dassault Mirage 2000. And there are different variants of Delta configuration. The first is the crop Delta where the tip is cut off to reduce the wing tip flow separation at high angle of attack. The tail delta is a conventional tail plane with horizontal tail surface to improve handling and the example is a Soviet plane which is a MiG-21. The next is a compound delta and the cranked arrow. In these delta configuration, the leading edge is not straight and the inboard section has increased sweep back and the example is the F-16XL. And the next delta configuration is the Ogivel design delta configuration. They are used for high speed aircraft and they are mainly designed to minimize drag at supersonic speed. And the disadvantage is that they are complex and the manufacturing is difficult. And the example is the Concorde. The next is the trapezoidal wing. This wing offers outstanding flight performance. The trailing edge of the wing sweeps forward and the leading edge sweeps back. The advantage is that this wing offers higher fuel efficiency for supersonic flight velocities and offers good stealth characteristics. While the disadvantage is that the wing loading is high as a result 
This decreases the maneuverability. The famous example is the US Compact Air Aircraft which is the F-22 Raptor. The next is the forward swept wing. As the name suggests, the leading edge is swept forward. The main disadvantage of the forward swept wing is that it produces wing twisting when bent under load, putting a great stress on the wing root. And the aircraft shown in the video is a SU-47 Burkut Golden Eagle. The next wing is a swept back wing. In this wing configuration, the aircraft's leading edge is swept back and this helps in delaying the formation of shock waves. This video gives us an overall idea of different types of wing which are available in today's world. If you all found this video informative, do like and comment. Thank you.